2004 upa one came to power elections got over nobody knew who is the prime minister 10 days it took they said and he is the prime minister frankly speaking 90 percent of us did not know who the hell is manmohan singh if you look at demographic blunders over the last 50 years in the whole world i believe this should be number one first time a prime minister was imposed on a country that thrives on democracy this country wants a functioning prime minister even 10 years from now when pakistan and china decides to do a two pronged attack on india at the same time this country should be resilient enough to face it Two thousand four, UPA one came to power. Elections got over. Nobody knew who is the prime minister. Ten days it took. They said, and he is the prime minister. I used to say this in our pracharam in Kala movie or superstar Rajini Kant. There is one famous dialogue. One fellow will come and say, "Sir, I am a hero," and Rajini will ask his friend, "A hey, Kumar, yar hai?" There is this very famous dialogue. Likewise, suddenly after ten days, they said he is the prime minister. All of us asked, "Kumar, who are you?" Then, frankly speaking, 90 percent of us did not know who the hell is Manmohan Singh. We said, "Who is this guy?" Then they took explanation for one day. No, no, former Reserve Bank Governor. He contested in Delhi, lost once. He is such a nice person. Please believe us. He is a good man, and he is your Prime Minister, sir. If you look at demographic blunders over the last 50 years in the whole world, I believe this should be number one. first time a prime minister was imposed on a country that thrives on democracy this is the country it's noisy democracy tea shop fight bus stand fight everywhere we fight because it's democracy this country somebody said he is the prime minister whom you never elected who never went to lok sabha who is a rajya sabha two time and who was far away from politics not even a functioning a political functionary who is an office bearer or oh, congress party all india secretary congress party general secretary nobody knew they said he is the prime minister 10 years we put up with it what is the what is the price we paid for it our raja our 2g raja he writes a letter very interesting letter he writes a letter now first the prime minister writes a letter to raja he says dear telecom minister your first to come first to serve policy fcfs is fundamentally flawed please review it then raja writes a letter to prime minister dear prime minister vanakkam i think this policy is right because my leader also believes this policy is right and i am going to stick with first come first serve this is the bare essence of 2g scam where raja decided he put a cut off date he said look day after tomorrow is a cut off date whoever has given the application before the cut off date first to come first serve i am going to qualify them i am going to give them license do you know the how many pages somebody has to fill sir 727 pages you got to fill company financial statement which you took and it, the the essence of 2g scam people got the document one week before people filled it when raja said tomorrow morning it is starting the application 7 o'clock it is open all the companies which is in the 2g scam list they arrived there with a filled up list they said come on please take it first come first serve give me my license why it happened because a strong prime minister was not there who couldn't say this is stupidity of the highest order please take this logic back so nobody is saying manmohan singh is corrupt this country right now is not searching for somebody who can claim oh i am like a buddha i will sit there and watch what is happening i will not this country wants a functioning prime minister even 10 years from now when pakistan and china decides to do a two pronged attack on india at the same time this country should be resilient enough to face it so that is the challenge before us do we have a prime minister of that caliber i am just giving you one example of first come first serve how a prime minister who is not accountable to the public because the prime minister is not elected the prime minister doesn't have a constituency of his own the prime minister doesn't go on campaign for every state election in this country six elections a prime minister has to face every year six election people will judge a prime minister six election people will ask a prime minister what have you done 
so this prime minister has to take so much risk demonetization before up still you go on face gst go on face you make this decision go on face the essential nature of indian democracy a prime minister has to be a risk taker and the prime minister has to face the public and convince the public and still make the public to vote this is a country that there is a need stagnated solutions no i am a prime minister i will not make decisions because i have six elections every year i will just keep quiet if i make one decision somebody will feel hurt kerala will feel hurt tamil nadu will feel hurt up will feel hurt i will not make any decision please vote this country doesn't want prime ministers like that so modi ji has broken that mold to say i am a performing prime minister but every year i will face six elections i will convince you to vote for us because my decision is right now you tell me in the alliance will all leaders agree to a single leader who will be a prime minister question number 2 even if all leaders agree to a single leader as prime minister will that person be able to run the cabinet question number 3 even if this person is able to run that cabinet if he has to pull up some minister for some wrong thing x is prime minister y is in mamta banerjee's party z is in arvind kejriwal's party b is in some party and if he has to fire the essential thing of a cabinet is the prime minister should have the right to fire though in our country it is the president who accepts the prime minister's decision because the cabinet cannot be under the control of a prime minister if three answers are false false and false for an india alliance then what are we looking at sir we are looking at a country that will go to shambles if any of them will decide that i am going to be the country's prime minister rahul gandhi ji is no concurrency here only and many of his ideas if we implement it is much worse than 1991 ussr ussr when somebody said why ussr collapsed on communists gave a beautiful answer sir the essence of communism is very simple you got to act as if you are working the government has to act as if it's watching this is the essence of communism if both of you break it communism will collapse i'm telling this again sir when ussr collapsed somebody asked a communist why it collapsed they said sir people and uh, party government who are there people have to act as if they are working the government has to act as if it's watching when anyone breaks ussr collapses that is why you build up build up an inefficient state one fine day it collapsed when the whole country was a world was opening up friends we have to understand in this very very important election now you know for a fact it is modi ji who is going to come back to power all of us know for a fact nobody in this room has got a doubt whether modi ji is going to come the question is whether it is 400 or 410 or 430 that is a doubt we all have now here the same congress fellows have come now if you look at the indi alliance argument sir know where the indi alliance is saying they are winning indi alliance is saying modi ji will not win 400 know where the indi alliance is saying oh we are winning if we win c 50 points we will do pat 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 we will do everything they are saying modi ji should not win 400 so tomorrow if modi ji is winning even 398 they will say appa because of our alliance we have reduced two seats we have done so much hard work over the last one year we have reduced two seats and 100% they will have a success party also so take my word they will 100% have a success party in delhi to say two seats we have reduced there also there will be a fight i am responsible for two seat reduction other fellow will say i am responsible this is not an alliance at all any alliance that is not on principle any alliance is there only on anti modi plank will not works it will take the country so back i'll give you a simple example sir. 